Hey guys, we're in the middle of Polish, beautiful Silesian winter on the verge of Gliwice and Shausha. This is exactly where Distractive Creations is located. I just wanted to make this short video to thanks everybody for the feedback that we've got on the open beta. We got a lot of discussions, we got a lot of opinions, we got a lot of new community members, and we got ourselves the very first um, community tournament. The signups end in three days, and there we're gonna see everybody utilize their skills and we're gonna have the very first champion of the open ancestors legacy tournament uh over 90,000 people have downloaded the beta kudos over 20,000 people have actually played a multiplayer match and yeah i want to i want to thank the most active player mary jane kudos uh the highest winning guy lead cami kudos to you sir as well and Oh yeah, this dog always barks at me, always. But since you're with me today, he's probably not gonna be doing that. And also wanted to take this chance to show you the actual studio, Distractive Creations. We're not a five billion dollar mansion, but we're doing all right. Come on. Right, so right off the bat, first thing, tutorials. A lot of people, or guys, a lot of people were asking whether we're gonna have them, yes. A huge part of the actual single player campaign is going to feature tutorials and also uh, we do have a lot of information in the manual which you can find in the main menu of this beta and also includes a tutorial written by our community member on how to start off with each nations also a lot of places like uh, discussions on the forums and steam and, and on our discord server a lot of people actually exchange information on how to min max a lot of that stuff what you also have is hint screens regarding the interface so in the actual game uh, you can either press slash on your keyboard or i think rb and lb simultaneously on your gamepad to have these hint screens uh, available so uh, start with this and if that's not enough go to forums and you know as a background this video uh, we used uh, a, a game where Magda and Wukash from our QA team have been playing against each other and I wanted to use this as a way to comment on your questions issues and doubts about the balancing of the game so what we're going to be doing here is uh, they're going to be playing a game i'm going to be commenting from time to time about what's going on in the screen and what context it has regarding the balancing of our game and in the meantime i'm also going to be addressing other questions that you guys have posted on forums emails discord facebook wherever steam everywhere so um first thing this game has been uh, balanced around nations not in a way to have more and more units and nations so that you can have variety to choose from uh endless like spans and numbers of squads and nations what we rather wanted to go for is more of a depth within uh, the nations the four nations that we have and this is the purpose of this video as well so um, the first thing regarding balancing, yes, we will be uh, balancing the game. We'll keep doing that until we drop dead or die. And that's going to happen for sure. So you can be sure that we will be addressing your doubts and your questions. Now, what we're going to be uh, what we're going to be sh seeing here is Wukash uh, is playing uh, Vikings and he's starting with spear guys and Magda is playing with Slavs, which means the first unit that she starts with are shield guys, a shield warband, if I'm not mistaken. And technically, since we have a rock, paper, scissor mechanics in the game, these are a contra against each other. So uh, spear guys, uh, spear raiders, if I'm not mistaken, that's the Viking name, uh, are very weak against the shielded guys. And the first encounter that we're going to see in here, uh, Wukash has recruited two squads of spears and magda has recruited two squads of uh, shield guys and you're going to see that it's not going to be an even fight so it seems to a lot of people and i i, I kind of see where they're coming from that it's an uneven start and then we're going to show what you can do to counter that so um, one thing that, that you can do is to uh, unlock new tiers of technology which gives you access to next uh, types of uh, of uh, squads 
uh, to enhance uh, what we call this rock paper scissor mechanic so let's say you start with a rock and paper and then you get a new tier for your nation and you get a scissor like metaphorically speaking yeah uh, also we are doing and will be doing uh, minor tweaks to help people uh, achieve uh, what uh, could be called uh, sort of a combat mechanics. We do not have a combat mechanics in this game, like per se, but we are going to be doing some tweaks that will allow people to uh, the, to feel like they can get back in a match effectively without problems. Like when, when your soldiers uh, are starving right now, the, uh, the, the influence of that on the morale is not binary. It's going to be more of a linear. It's going gonna, it's gonna to progress with time. And that's why it's easier to start off with very low food income and still not have too much trouble. Whereas previously, that was like it hit you hard right off the bat when you when you get uh when you get low food economy uh so that's one thing mm. the other thing is uh diversifying your attacks when you feel enemy has got advantage over you you can still diversify certain uh units and send them to pillage villages whereas the rest of your units uh engages with your enemy squads or vice versa that helps a lot that helps a lot to uh to turn around the outcome of a match. I've seen that happen. It's uh, possible. Mm, also, one thing that we've introduces, int introduced is these um, the dismissing of your squad gets part of the resources that uh, you would use to recruit that squad back. So that is also something that will help with the economy. And economy was one of the things that were pointed out by you guys in your feedback. And I think we're going to see right now the encounter where uh, two spear guys are going to face two shield warbands. And uh, you're going to see that it looks like an uneven fight. This is what a lot of people see at the beginning of the match. And it feels like, okay, so I'm screwed. Uh, that this is unbalanced and, and it feels like that so uh the purpose of this video is to show you what happens next what you can do next uh all right let's next let's jump to the next topic that you guys have uh oh yeah ui a lot of people thought ui is either unreadable maybe too colorful and so on and so on you probably have seen a lot of changes uh, right now throughout this uh we're going to be adding uh we're going to be tweaking that con constantly like the very first versions of the UI that we have posted were, were completely different from what we have right now, and and uh, we're gonna still uh, we're gonna keep on tweaking that. Um, here's a sneak peek of the multiplayer lobby. Uh, not only it, it doesn't look like very temporary, uh, but also uh, we're gonna be introducing that for the final game. But also, as you can see, there's actual hints for the nations that you select. Very important for people who start the game and don't know what kind of nation they're gonna be playing with, what's gonna be happening. So yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's also very important. All right, so as you can see, the uh, spear guys uh, have uh, not done so good. So what uh, Wukas did is he advanced the nation to a second tier and now he can recruit Berserkers, which are a good Contra for uh, shield guys. And the next encounter that we're going to do, if I'm not mistaken, you guys are going to see that in the video, is I think Wukas is going to grab two squads of Berserkers and Magda is going to get three squads of shield guys and that still won't be enough. To defeat this guy so um not only wukash found a way i mean he's very clever of course he, he just just kind of came up with a way to get back in this match but also it turns out that he can easily turn the outcome of this match around because uh berserkers are are, are a very uh, good and effective way and we're not even talking about leveling up about choosing specialization about buying armor uh, we purposely did not do this in this match to, to give you uh, an overview of the very bare basics and on top of that there are a lot of modifiers right right uh, next questions what do we have hotkeys in more intuitive places there uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to be uh, giving an option to redefine your keys as any decent PC game uh, should do as well, of course. 
Uh, but apart from that, what we want to do, hopefully we'll do that uh, for the release. Uh, if not, we'll do that soon after that, is alternative keyboard and mouse layout for those that gave us this feedback and these remarks. There you go. Two Berserker squads did not have a lot of trouble with three uh, shielded guys. So it, it's a clear, uh, it's a clear uh, like message for Magda in this match that she needs to get her nation to a next tier of technology advancement because then what she's gonna get is spear guys and slavic spear guys are very good contra against the actual berserker that wukash is having wukash feels he's like he's he's got his this match in his pocket uh but what magda is gonna do is she's gonna show him uh -uh, sir so this is gonna be the next stage what do we have mm, dana widget you asked for that uh of course we will be adding a day night widget to uh to the ui of the game so you will see uh or what weather is going to be coming soon and changes like rain and snow this is important for a lot of people there you go uh, map editor modding tools and so on uh we probably won't have that for launch but since all other projects that we've done had that sooner or later it's quite possible that ancestors legacy is going to have that as well so that's that's next question tactical map what we have in here uh, is a map that you can uh, zoom out I think it's by default Z on the uh, on the keyboard and if you do that you can uh, you can give commands you can order a squad to go to a place you can order it to uh, attack a village for example and we'll be working on the readability of this of course we will so so there you go a spear guys are doing quite well against berserkers um next i don't want this video to be very long uh of course we will be tweaking and fixing all the grammar errors and mistakes and descriptions and tooltips proofreading is still ahead of us okay rankings letters rank matches yes we would love to do this i think uh it's, it's the same with observer mode or spectator mode this is a must have for this game if you want to have you know a lot of multiplayer matches uh we're just working on that don't know exactly yet what that's gonna be mm, a lot of people said that there are much making issues uh where people getting kicked out and so on so we're thinking about adding a password matches so that you can set up a password and only people that know the password can jump jump in your lobby and same for uh clan system community wars that is awesome uh th that's some awesome features that we would like to have as well right now let's jump to next uh bunch of topics we've got almost 700 people fill in the feedback forms in the main, main menu of the open beta only since we've launched the open beta there were uh, a lot of other forms uh filled before that when the beta was closed so i want to thank uh for that as well mm, so of the things that you liked uh, that you disliked the most because they uh, they usually influence the uh in development of the game most uh, balance and that's why I decided to uh, put most stress on this on the uh, on the game. Summing that up, we believe this uh, uh, this game invests in depth more than uh, the the amount of units, nations, and scales, and so on. Uh, hope I was able to uh, put it through in this video. If not, sorry, my best was not good enough. And a lot of people uh, apparently gave other commands which were is there's hundreds of them i just you know can't list them out all of them like but 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 just clicked other and typed in and if we go to things that you guys actually liked uh it's pretty even i'm i'm, I'm really happy to see that the visuals and audio the audio visual side of the game is great our art team and our composers and audio guys um we're really proud of them and also the combat which I think is very important for us because Ancestors Legacy is a combat driven game. So this is this is great to see that in a feedback particularly. Also if we compare the feedback where where, where did I have it? Oh I thought I have it. I don't. Let me just find it. I should have it somewhere in my screen. There I got it. Um so if we compare that you can see that um a lot of people like for example the the low bar uh, lower bar lowest bar is very interesting because you can see the amount of people that like to give custom negative feedback compared to the amount of people that like to give a positive custom feedback this is interesting but apart from that uh balance uh, was the the feature that was usually uh, criticized upon as you can see almost 70 percent 
uh, and that's why we're going to be working on that the most. But apart from that, uh, yeah, apart from that, we're trying and <laughs> we're going to die trying. Um, yeah, and summing up, there are things uh, that we either will not have time uh, to do or this game is not designed to have them like walls, palisade, defense system in the settlements, more base building, free placement, bigger maps, further camera and rotating camera in the top down view. These are all the things that, uh, as I said, uh, it's not at least for now within the scope of development of Ancestors Legacy. And yeah. That's it. This video is already too long. We even did uh, a word cloud from the uh, freestyle feedback form that you guys gave. There are hidden messages in there, maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyways, thanks. Cheers. And you're great. Uh, we're going to be working hard for you every day until the release. And we hope uh, since then, not hope, we will since then further on as well to patch the game, to tweak it and to update it. And just a reminder uh this game requires some time for you guys to play to find out uh its depth and its features and the correlation and dependencies between these features playing one hour of this game will not give you an overview of the complexity of it because it's a real-time strategy that's at least how i look at it and yeah just a reminder in two in three days we're closing the signups for the very first uh, community driven tournament it's actually the very first tournament ever of Ancestors Legacy so if you want to be the bearer of the first ever Ancestors Legacy champ badge you want to sign up the link is in the description right thanks a lot that's that's it from DC for now and cheers